Hi, I just wanted to show you really briefly on this, uh, this current site that I'm building how to add a request white paper download. Um, a lot of marketing professionals want to kind of uh, exchange an email address or your, you know, kind of the, the visitor's information for something that they can download. So I'm going to show you how to do that on Squarespace using a form and uh, it's pretty easy. So let's get started. First thing you'll want to do is create a, a form and you can either make a form widget or in this case I'm going to go ahead and um, make a form page and I'm going to call that download white papers hopefully. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and create that page and I'm going to grab this Joomla resources, enable the page. And if I go to that page, um, what we'll actually do is if you go to structure mode, we can go in and configure a few things. Uh, first thing I want to do is show the page title, uh, make sure submissions are being saved to a spreadsheet. Um, and yeah, we can collect, um, well, we'll have to put an email address on the form first. So I'm going to deselect that for now. Um, and I'll go ahead and save page configuration. So now we've got, uh, the start of our page. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some quick content. I have an issue here that I got to reload to get rid of this, but it's fine. It is fine for now. New field, email address. And that's required. And uh, let's see, we'd also want to say, oops. Going so close. Got to reload this to get rid of this little banner here. All right. So since this is a form at this point, what we'll want to do is we'll want to actually say, um, you know, basically, welcome to our site. Please exchange your contact information for the thing that you want to download. So I'll go ahead and add that information um, right above the form here. Um, we can either do that in a section break, um, but I'm going to put a section break here just for a second. And then if we want to add content above this, we can say add page header. And this is where we type the welcome information. So actually what I'll do here is I'll just say like document overview. You know, they'd probably uh, have an intro paragraph. And this is for the client to go ahead and set up. So um, I'll just go ahead and put some text here. I guess our document overview would go down lower. And then you might say, document one and I'll just go ahead and kind of style that a little bit actually I won't bold it I'll just give it a heading of heading three and there we go so now I want to go ahead and link to a document oh the document's not uploaded yet so let's go upload a document let me hit save and close so this is what they'll probably click on or we you know we could put something out here that says click to download the document but first let me explain what we're going to do um, so Squarespace um, if you go to 
configure this page. If, if I fill out this form on Squarespace, I will be given the, you know, the option to say, here's you know, the confirmation message, thanks for responding. So the little secret here is you'd say, you know, thanks for requesting um, our downloads, something like that. Thanks for requesting our downloads. And then we'd say, click here to download. Okay, so we're gonna keep it this way for now. A lot of steps, but this is kind of how it works. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go in, into file storage and I'm gonna create a directory that's random. Doesn't matter what you call it. it, just needs to kind of be hidden is what I'm kind of thinking. And then in this directory, just so no one can go downloads and kind of find what's in there. Uh, then what I want to do is go ahead and upload my PDF to this directory. All right, so now my test PDF is in place. What I want to do is go ahead and uh, copy link address. And then in architecture, what I want to do is um, I've created this hidden pages section or it's basically a hidden section and within that section we can create a whole number of pages that would be visible if you knew how to get there uh, they're they're only hidden because they're hidden from the navigation is is how things work so what i'm going to do is go ahead and create my page and i'm going to say um, see this would also have to be kind of a random because if if someone just went to downloads or something like that so I'm going to go to H6JJU or something like that. Whatever. doesn't matter what we call this page at this point. Um, our URL, our navigation bar title, we could probably still say download. Well, let's not. Let's just keep it the same. So I'll make a new one because I messed that up. And I have something on my clipboard. Otherwise, I would just paste. So let's do another one. Do, 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 do. And on this particular website, I have a special uh, template that won't create that banner up at the top. All right, so there's our downloads page. We can go into that now and go ahead and go to content mode. And we'll say here, thanks for requesting. Um, our downloads, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to put some fake text here. I think I just lost my clipboard doing that. So I got to go find where that file was. Here it is. Copy link address. Hit escape and we'll go back to the page we were just on. Edit page. And download the PDF here. And then what I'll do is go ahead and make this a link. And actually we, we could have browsed to it on <laughs> the files. But hey we're here right now um, and then what we want to do is get rid of all the previous stuff let's just get rid of the root URL this way when we switch domains then this will work save close I always like to launch PDFs in a new window um, just kind of a thing I've always done I'm not sure if it even matters uh, heading I'm gonna say heading two because that's kind of what we've used on every page so download PDF here. So this is the page that people will get to. And this is the long, tedious part, but um, basically what we'll want to do is put this link, basically it's just this link right here, into that confirmation page. So we're kind of going about this all backwards, but you have to build up all this in order to do it. So let's go put this link in that confirmation. So here I'm back on the uh, download white papers page. And so if we go to structure mode, 
configure this page. And then here's our confirmation message. We can put HTML in here. So it's basically in my clipboard, I just went ahead and made a, uh, a heading that says, you know, thanks for requesting. This is not necessary. Thanks for requesting our downloads. And then in a paragraph, download your PDF files at link. And there's the link to that page in the hidden section that we created. Um, so download your files at the following page is what that'll say. So then if we hit save page and configuration, we go there. And then what we can do is um, we'll basically say, you know, document one, document two, um, oops, structure, uh, reload. Modify page header. And then please complete the form below to receive your downloads. Let me make that bold. All right. So, no, I should be cool with this. Save close. I'll just tighten this up just so he knows where to go do all this. So there we go. So we got our intro paragraph, kind of like what's included in these downloads. Please complete the form below to receive your downloads. And so, I think I might have to go to another browser to do this. I think I do. I have to be logged out. So, um, actually, I'll just log out. So now if I go download white papers, document overview, Alan Hauser, and I'm going to say test at testing. Whoever owns the testing.com domain probably gets a lot of email. Just saying. So there we go. I submit my form. Success. Download white papers. Thanks for requesting our downloads. Please download your PDF the following page. So then I can go to this page. Thanks for requesting our downloads. So maybe that's a little redundant. But anyway, there's my PDF. When I click download, there you go. That's all there is to it. So uh, hopefully that helps you out.